John, uh, after we spoke on Saturday, I was asking you, was tonight a free hit? But that's not a bad result for a free hit. It's an excellent uh, result for a free hit. Of course it is, yeah. Probably not many people outside our dressing room gave us much a chance or you know, our folk fans, you know, outside that probably not many gave us a chance, you know. So, but, you know, we, we went over a few things, you know, from the weekend and we had words on, on Sunday and went over things and tonight the guys came out and had a, played a great game. Absolutely fantastic, you know. We passed the ball really, really well. We were trying to go forward every, every opportunity that we could, but we were in control, you know. We, we showed patience and we tried to build the game. And we showed character and we showed uh, resilience as well because in the second half we come under a lot of pressure and we've cleared balls off the line and PGs had to make saves, uh, defenders had to block things and they showed a great uh, great mentality as well, all, all characteristics that I was hoping we could get better at uh, based on you know things that we've seen last season and uh, absolutely delighted for everyone connected, uh, the players were immense tonight, absolutely immense. If they want to love and all the way through, the subs that came on as well, done their, played their part. I uh, thought we scored a really good goal. I thought uh, Leon McCann put a great delivery in and he did second header. He scores a header uh, against Dundee United in a, in a pre-season friendly and he scored with a header here tonight, great header. And uh, he didn't have another chance. The goalkeeper was out his box and uh, we got the ball in behind him. Had an opportunity to score. Callum Morrison had a shot very early. It's went away by the post and then I think Craig McGuffey had a header as well and Possibly a shot. So in the first half, I thought we were by far the better side. Hibs obviously make four changes at half time, so probably not happy. Uh, they bring on four players that started the game on Saturday for them. Uh, and we're always going to put us under pressure. But great credit again to the players. Uh, they've stood firm to it, they've rose to every challenge, they've dug in deep. And uh, what more can you ask for? You know, it's absolutely delighted for them, uh, the hard work they've put in, uh, and everyone, you know, connected with. Falkirk Football Club, all the fans who've maybe seen, you know, maybe results last season that they didn't want to see, and obviously tonight's one of the ones that hopefully they can enjoy. One of the things that last season I say that looked a bit different tonight, and uh, the fans were really positively reacting to in the stands, was the key word you said there was resilience. To how much, uh, to what extent does that please you tonight, the resilience the guys showed, and also to what extent does that give the players a wee lift? Enormous, aye, it's enormous, uh, the, the resilience that they showed that they didn't they buckle, you know, we didn't crumble and we stood for them and we battled the corner, we put our bodies on the line and it gives the fans, uh, you know, and the players reassurance, you know, both sets, yeah, you're right, the fans were, were great tonight and, you know, myself and Paul, that, that's why we've came here, we want the fans to be, hopefully we can enjoy every game, but that, you know, a tall order, you know, but... Hopefully they see signs of improvement and they see the players working for each other. They see them playing as a, as a team, working hard for each other, right to the death. You know, Callum Morrison putting a shift in defensively, Craig McGuffey doing a, doing a shift, Aidan Nesbitt doing a shift. All, all these guys who have got the ability, who know, maybe be questioned with regards to the other aspects of the game. Tonight they showed that they can do it. It will give them confidence doing that. It should give us a lot of confidence. Two games, away to Morton, clean sheet, clean sheet tonight. And always looking a threat tonight, you know, much more threatening tonight than on Saturday. But, you know, again, I was certainly put that down to the pitch, the pitch tonight, the size of the pitch, much more space to play, a flat surface that, that we, we know we can play on this pitch, you know, regardless of, you know, criticisms. You know, we play some good football on this pitch already and hopefully we can continue to do that. And just finally, John, you mentioned right at the start it was a, a perhaps an unexpected result tonight for any outside eyes looking yeah. in. Um, but to what extent now is it a case of we need to go on and, and, and build on that for the remaining games? Absolutely. We've got ourselves in a really good position, but we've not done anything. We've not won anything yet. We've gave ourselves a right chance, though. You know, uh, on paper, you would suggest that away to Morton and then against Hibs tonight, Premiership team, you would think these are the two hardest games, but we can take nothing for granted. So we've got to make sure that we go out in the next two games and uh, you know give every bit of effort and commitment we've gave tonight and get the two wins and uh, you know obviously if we do that then we win the group. Well, John, congratulations on the win tonight and as always thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you.